Hi everybody, it's your old pal Chuck, and I'm here to bring you another review. Today, we're taking a look at, from the Transformers Go line, the uh, Japanese sort of version of Beast Hunters, uh, Sensumaru. Um, I do hope I pronounced that correctly. If I didn't, I do apologize. Um, I think for the remainder of the interview, I'll just refer to him as Captain Sharp. All my brave buddies, we can uh, unite on that. He is the third member of the Shinobi Combiner team. Um, three figures that can combine into uh, three different robots. And um, he, he's very interesting. Um, if it looks like I'm basically trying to only show him from the front, um, I am. That's because, like the other two robots in this set, um, from the rear he really doesn't look good. Um, at least this way, he has like hips and knees and what have you. But yeah, um, let's just... He's predominantly purple. Um, I don't know why on my camera he's coming out a bit more blue. He does have um, red accents on the nose of the shark and on the feet, as well as here in the uh, thrusters, but we'll see those in uh, shark mode. White and gold detailing on the chest. Silver paint apps on the sides of the fins here and on his face. Um, for accessories, first he has his Kabuto which uh, can be mounted on his back as a weapon. It can also be uh, mounted underneath in shark mode, which I will show you when we get there. He also comes with um, two uh, pick style axes that you know he can hold individually, or as it's shown predominantly on the packaging, you can combine them and it will form a somewhat ninja star type of uh, device. We'll just put those off to the side. For articulation, um, he does have some interesting joints. He has ball joints here in the arms, up by the shoulder area. Double jointed elbows, which is predominantly for transformation. Um, the head can unfortunately only swivel left to right. It's not on a ball joint. And the legs, the knees are right about here. And you get a good about 90 degree bend. There is also a swivel there, but because of the uh, shark kibble on the inside, uh, does make for difficulty imposing. His feet are naturally molded for him to have like a wider leg stance, um, and he also the legs can go forward and back. Um, if you want to then angle out to the side, you have to rotate and stuff like that. And, you know, I mean technically he does have a hip joints further up but I try to like think of those as the hips and what have you but yeah all in all this is a kind of cool looking figure I mean I, I kind of dig it but uh let's get to the transformation for the most part transformation is relatively simple um what you first want to do is come into the head lift it up like so and then bring it forward and close it back down. You actually have to lift it up to be able to close it. It wasn't going to close flush uh, without you doing it otherwise. Second step, very important step, this little black connector piece that the Kabuto was pegged into, make sure you flip it up and snap it into place. When I first got this figure, I wasted 45 minutes trying to um, get the shark mode panels to close properly and it was because I didn't have that panel uh, flipped up properly. Next what you want to do is come in with the arms and basically you're just going to swivel them back and rotate them into place. Um, go ahead and bring the thin up on its uh, it's on a hinge Oop. Don't like that sound but do the same on this side and just bring them up like so and they'll peg together the hands really don't peg together per se but I mean that's how basically it should look um, during the course of transformation, things might move, so just be prepared for that. 
Um, next step you want to do is just go ahead and rotate the um, front of the legs upside down while folding up the robot foot. You'll do that on both sides. You then want to just go ahead and rotate the uh, legs around at the uh, upper part right here at that swivel joint. Um, then what you want to do is flip up that shell piece, come in, open up that panel, and then flip that other outer shell down. Basically, you have to flip that shell piece up to be able to open up that uh, shell. And then finally, the big step now, you want to come in and rotate the legs at that upper joint back. Um, you are starting to see how much of this guy is actually just leg. Um, then you want to come down and rotate them. And as you do so, go ahead, flip the um, shell pieces in, like so. Uh, there's a tab underneath at the base that they should peg into together. Here we go. And uh, they will peg together. That will, will become now the thrusters. I hope I did that right. Um, yeah, hopefully that works. Next, this little, uh, what was the front skirt? Just push it in and it will uh, fold down and peg into the underside of the gullet of the shark. Um, next, what you can do is take the two thrusters and disengage them from what was the legs. And then they will swing out forward, and they should, and they will peg into the front. And hopefully, nothing came undone. I am checking just to make sure. Yeah. Um, the next step, you want to come in. You're going to be working in the rear here, but you want to grab the. Um, Pickaxes. Now, I have seen people in other reviews just shove these in, and that concerns me because I'm afraid you might break it. There's a little notch here on the tip that's going to slide in quite nicely onto uh, a groove in the rear, and these will become the tail. And I have to say, I think of the weapons that these guys, that these members of the team come with, these work the best in terms of in. Uh, incorporating into the alternate mode. Finally, what you want to do, and this is the test to see if you've really uh, done well, is come in and fold the side panels up. There is a few gaps here and there, and unfortunately there are no panels here to cover up the legs, but here is uh, Sensumaru Captain Shark in his shark mode and yes the mouth can open in shark mode much like in robot mode uh, you can store the kabuto on the figure i think it's time to uh, combine this guy up okay to transform him into his torso mode um, i've returned um, the figure back to his robot mode. I'm going to be honest with you, I am just going to show you the torso mode and the combined because number one, um, the instructions actually only show you how to turn him into his torso mode. It's interesting, each each figure's instructions will have the instructions for the other modes. For, you know, for example, with uh, Captain Shark here, you know, um, we have his torso mode um, then I think it's uh, Geki Sumaru, the Blue Lion, will have his, um, you know, waist and backpack mode with these because that's what he formed. These guys really can't scramble combined. Um, if this guy is in his uh, torso mode, then Blue Lion has to be in the backpack mode and the bird guy has to be in the legs. I think it's Sensumaru has to be in the legs. You can't have him as the backpack and Gekisumaru, the blue lion, as the legs. It won't combine properly. 
Um, also, just for time constraints, I think going through with him all three of his different modes would be a little long. This way I can show you the torso and we can go through the light and sound effects that the uh, Kabuto will unlock. Okay, with all that said, let's get into it. Um, like I said, returned him to robot mode. First step, you just want to go ahead, bring the head up. Yes, I know it's out of camera, but, you know, it's there. See. Um, next, what you want to do is go ahead and bring the arms. Just loop them around behind. Uh, sort of like you're transforming them, but not quite. And then... Um, Basically, what you want to do is uh, rotate them down, ro rotate them out and down at the uh, shoulder so that uh, um, you know they, they look sort of like this. Let me just make sure I have. Uh, Ooh, I almost forgot an important step. When you're after you put put the head up, make sure you uh, tab that uh, back piece in. Oh boy, that would have been an issue. So yeah, and unfortunately, these arms. I mean, it sort of looks like there's places for them to peg. They kind of don't. So you just want to straighten them out and have them facing down with the fins out like that. Um, and the instructions actually get a little confusing because. Uh, you know, they sometimes show that it looks like that the fins are pointing back, but they're not. Okay, what I just did now is I just rotated the shark head um, 180 degrees. You may want to bend the robot head a little just to give them clearance. And then once you have that done, go ahead and push the skirt down. That actually doesn't lock into place, but it will just uh, sit nicely. Next, what you want to do is flip the guy... 180 degrees and then proceed to split uh, the legs out like so pull the head back up um, as you can see these are going to be the shoulders you can go ahead and then lock the head down into place I think that will actually secure the chest um, next what you want to do is on both sides rotate or at the legs which will now be the arms up at that joint Bend them down, tight ratchet joints. I mean, I, I have a love-hate relationship with ratchet joints because sometimes they don't really give you uh, a good, fair amount of clearance. Um, then what you want to do is go ahead and rotate at what will be the elbow joint, but was the uh, knee joint, just like so. Um, then, actually a little bit like what you just did with the... Um, for shark mode, go ahead, open this cabinet or door, and uh, go inside. And the legs are right there. It's a little, they're a little too tricky to get out, but once you get it started, it'll come out no problem, easy peasy. Do that on uh, both sides. You may have to flip out that little extra piece. Oh, that one's a little easier. And. Um, here you have him up in uh, torso mode. Before we get to combining, um, I did may actually make a mistake. When uh, rotating the arms up, you actually just want to rotate them flush against the body, not up. Not You don't want to rotate the shoulders up like you're going into shark mode. If you do that like I did, you'll cover up the connector port, which is right there. So you want the shoulders out to the side, and then the arms up like this will come up behind the head. And, uh, you know, give them a little bit of a thinned crest look. All right. Also, um, the arm, you know, for combining, you just may want to have the arms out a little at the side just to give you a little extra wiggle room. All right. Enough of that. Let's get to combining. Okay. As you can see, I have Captain Shark already pegged in. He just drops in, clips into place. Uh, one thing you want to do with the Kabuto is... Yeah, this is for him in his weapon modes. Just go ahead, flip the head out. This crest will peg on underneath, but first, pressing the inverted Autobot symbol at the waist and holding. Alright, 
Seriously, somebody tell me, doesn't this sound like the beginning to innuendo? Oh, man, I love this. Okay, there's two clips here. Gonna go into the waist. As soon as they clip in, that will activate the final... Okay, here we are. Final Super Combined Mode, which is named Go Sen Sui. I hope I'm saying that right. I'm reading it right off the card. Um, the Kabuto of the other two figures can actually combine and peg together, and you can have like an arm blaster type shield. Also, this I do believe is the proper way to combine um, the other weapons into the super weapon. It's like, I guess, some sort of super whip. Um, those are actually in the instructions for Blue Lion. I will freely admit they weren't that clear, so I was guessing. Also, you will have a little bit of an issue with these uh, blades on the side trying to, you know, they, they kind of, because they're such, they're soft plastic, they will spread out a little. And, um, sliding it down into place you, you would be probably just easier to slide it in and then add them on but yeah uh i kind of dig the way this looks and i have to admit um i kind of dig these guys a little bit more than um the samurai team um i actually had the samurai team for like a um cup of coffee but i had to return them because due to the issues with the jet and i was hearing just too many negative reviews so, uh, yeah, I mean, this is really cool. Um, let me give you a good little pan down so you can see the entire robot, the, you know, the legs and what have you. Uh, I know some people say it's a little bit on the thin side. I don't see it. Um, I just think it's really cool. Um, this is obviously a homage to the Brave series. I mean, especially with the, you know, the cross combining and what have you there's even a little bit of an sentai knowledge the way you have to press the button and hold it to get to that combining sound which by the way once you have the kabuto on you know it'll just play the sound over and i think if you press and hold it you'll get like a super sound yeah I think that's different. I might be wrong. All in all, I have to agree with uh, everyone else. I think uh, the Shinobi team is much better than the Samurai team. So if you have one group to pick up, I would recommend them. I think in November, maybe closer to December, there's supposed to be a gift set coming Pick that up, because it actually ends up being a bit better of a deal uh, than buying the three of them separate. Uh, but, that's can't really say anything else. This is your old pal Chuck, and for Go Shen Shui, <laughs> we'll see you next time.